empty a heap of fear. We have a video that uh, was sent to us by Ray Evernham. Ray wanted to be here. He was trying to make every effort to be here, but he could not. But he was uh, kind enough to uh, send us this uh, video uh, on behalf of his good friend, uh, Billy Pouch. Good evening. Just want to take a minute and congratulate one of my buddies, Billy Pouch, on his induction into the Eastern Motorsports Press Association Hall of Fame. I can tell you as a member, it is a great honor to be recognized by that group, especially coming from the Northeast with all of us. I can tell you that Billy Pouch is one of the greatest drivers to ever hold the steering wheel, racing modifieds, sprint cars, midgets, anything, dirt or pavement. I'm proud to know you, Billy. Congratulations, my friend. If anybody belongs in the EMPA Hall of Fame, it's you, buddy. In 1994, Billy Pouch went to Syracuse, that wickedly wide open fairgrounds mile, climbed in a 410 sprint car and did it all. Fast time, so fast in fact that the lap he laid down in time trials eclipsed the existing world record speed on a closed dirt course. And a gauntlet down win that left the sprint car world and every platinum certified outlaw professional wondering what the hell just happened. <laughs> that a stock car driver from New Jersey who only dabbled in sprints was able to blow up the record books and beat the best sprint car drivers in the country, dead cold, just about put promoter Ted Johnson into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> it was the only time all year that an outsider had managed to steal a payday away from any of the World of Outlaws regulars. Anywhere. An outsider. That's who Billy Pouch is. The year before, in 1993, he got a last minute call to race a NASCAR modified in Flemington's Race of Champions. Didn't know the team, never saw the car before, hadn't run blacktop all year, never competed in a race that long in his life. Started next to last and beat every big name, all the stars in the NASCAR modified firmament. When he pulled into victory lane, all the pavement people were like, who's he? Like his Wild West namesake, Billy the Kid is a bonafide outlaw, racing when and where he pleased, never aligned with any sanctioning body or establishment membership, answering to no one. Every single one of the 746 wins that Billy corralled in his career, in modifieds, in sprints, winged, wingless, on dirt and asphalt, anywhere and everywhere, were taken down on his own terms. Members of the press, it is my great privilege and very big pleasure to introduce to you the last cowboy. Thank you, Buffy. If she missed anything on me, you can read it in her book. It's pretty, pretty good, even though it's about me. Um, I'd like to congratulate all the other inductees tonight that are up here. And, and uh, same thing, I'm not much of a speaker, and, but I'd like to thank everybody that voted for me. I mean, a lot of us, we grew up together. Everybody says, where'd time go? I said, I don't know about anybody else, I feel like I've been around forever. Um, it, it's like, I've, I've raced with three different generations of drivers like, uh, in certain families, like the Osmonds, I raced with Billy, Willie, and, and the grandson, and uh, it, it 
it's just been around a long time. I know when I started at age 17, I figured by the time I'm 40, I'd be done and I'll be turning 67 next year and I'm still gonna go out and race. But uh, I like to thank my family here for, for all the support they put behind me. Uh, my daughter for what she does in auto racing to keep people informed and my son for picking up the torch and carrying it on and uh, my grandson. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I have anything else to say. It's just, you know, just being around all you people and growing up and having you write good about us. You, you talk about us putting on a show so you have something to write about, but you guys do a good job writing about us to make us look good, to make us heroes and, and, and taking our pictures and stuff like Ace. I remember Ace was probably the first photographer at Flemington that I met come up to me when I was a rookie, give me pictures and stuff. And uh, I know I, I've been around a long time, but I, I think Ace has got pictures of Ben Hur. <laughs> you know, he's been he's been taking pictures as long as wooden wheels have been around, right, Ace? And he always keeps filming his camera. So I thank you all. Thank you. I can't thank you enough for the support, for what you do, for the membership, for what you guys do, and we look forward to a great 2024 with everybody. Good night, so long, enjoy the rest of your evening. When I was a kid, my dad used to say, don't let anything stand in your way, stand tall, think clear. Don't let them see, ain't no fear.